TestScan has introduced a new multifunctional tool in the field of nanotechnology. With the support of an EU grant, two years of development as part of the FIBLIS project have produced this device. Partners from a number of countries also took part in the project, including the Institute of Photonic Technology in Jena, Swiss Federal Laboratories for Materials Testing and Research, EMPA, the University of Reims, and the University of Oldenburg. The FIBLIS device was presented at a workshop attended by many guests from Czech, Slovak, and German universities, departments of technology, and so on. This apparatus is unique in that it combines various technologies which were only available in separate devices. That means a researcher in nanotechnology typically had to do each activity separately using a special apparatus, prepare the sample, look at it to see what the results look like, modify it, manipulate it, and analyze it. This multifunctional device allows for imaging, analysis, manipulation, and modification of the sample, all within a single apparatus. As a result, the user does not lose the cleanness of the sample when transferring it between the various devices. The sample is not subject to contamination, oxidation, and so on. Naturally, both time and money are also saved. For instance, for the run of a vacuum system, only one vacuum system is enough, and not several separate ones. In this way, using a combination of all of these devices, we make a scientist's work much more comfortable. Additionally, using a combination of these tools, new things that were not even possible before can be done now. Fiblis has a scanning electron microscope, an atomic force microscope, a focused ion beam, a time of flight mass spectrometer, an energy dispersive X-ray spectrometer, and also electron back scatter diffraction. The electron microscope allows imaging of samples. We can view micro or nano objects. It is necessary to realize that the requirements for magnification are immense. If we wanted to magnify an object of 10 nanometers, to see it as, for instance, 10 centimeters in our scale, this magnification ratio would be comparable to magnifying a human footprint on the moon to the size of the whole moon. The electron microscope in this unique apparatus has navigational functions too. Here we can see the image using a camera placed inside the vacuum chamber. And here we have the image from the microscope. You can see that we are gradually decreasing the image, and now we can start manipulating the image. It can be rotated, inclined, or moved. Besides the electron microscope, the device is also equipped with an atomic force microscope. It is slower. Scanning such an image takes about 20 minutes, but it provides depth information. Therefore, both microscopes complement each other. So far, we have only viewed the sample. Now we want to change it, modify it, or generate it. The focused ion beam serves this purpose. The tool allows adding or removing material from our sample. Here, for example, we see a particle which we have cut in half. As a result, we can look inside. To be specific, it is gunshot residue. Another example shows the generating of pillars which are used for micromechanical testing. 
In the third example, we can see a structure which has grown on a substrate. Here's what it is. We release gas into the environment of the sample, in this case, a compound containing platinum. And using the ion beam, we break this compound. What remains is a platinum ion, which then falls and drops down to the substrate. Gradually, a structure such as this appears on the substrate. We can see this star-shaped structure, which we use as proof to show that we are able to apply a layer of material of uniform volume in all directions. Now we can prepare and view our samples. Besides that, we can also use the Fiblis apparatus to analyze them. Here we have the energy dispersive X-ray spectrometer, which allows us to identify the chemical composition of our sample. Further, there is a device for electron back scatter diffraction. This allows us to identify the structure of our sample. For instance, on the sample of austenitic steel, we can see various grains. The same color refers to identical crystal structure of the grains. The previous two methods are quite common in electron microscopes, but Fiblis has another method which makes it a unique apparatus. It is a time-of-flight mass spectrometer, the so-called TOF. We can see it here. It is a very compact, small device. While in standard cases, such a mass spectrometer requires a one-meter-long device with a special source of ions, which is both very complex and expensive. We have utilized the fact that we already have a source for a focused ion beam, and by only adding such a small, compact device, we are able to use this method of TOF mass spectrometry in our combined device. This makes it truly unique in the world. The ion beam gradually mills the sample, and the TOF spectrometer determines the chemical composition. Here we can see the top view of the sample, and here is a cross-section image as if from the side. On the right, we can see the mass spectrum. We can, for example, look at the element with atomic number 40, that is, calcium. And here we can see three areas on the sample where calcium occurred. We can look at one particular part, and we can see that this part has this type of depth profile. While another part here has that kind of depth profile. The user can thus identify 3D information about the precise mass distribution of the given element in the given nano-object. Here is the second example, where there are several layers of material on a substrate. And on the right, we can see the cross-section for the indium element, and its amount is changing in the individual layers as we are progressing in depth. The combination of various methods also allows us to perform the so-called 3D tomography. In this method, layer by layer, using the ion beam, we are cutting off the sample and we are gradually analyzing the individual layers. This way, we obtain 3D information about the mass composition of the sample. This method can be used to control the quality of the integrated circuits. The obtained 3D image, in our case one of a microcompressor, can then be observed from different angles, perform various cross-sections and so on.
We can thus precisely control the quality of the individual circuits in the processor. A 3D image naturally has a much higher informative value than flat 2D images. We have incorporated several methods that were previously only available separately into a single powerful apparatus. Such an extensive interconnection of so many various methods is indeed special. And in one instance, the combination of a TOF spectrometer with focused ion and electron beams has been introduced for the very first time. It is therefore a truly unique project in the world.